If you die today, what dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts will die with you? I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know. That that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times that are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. It's not over until I win. What if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say, you can count on me and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cause repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. Logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, like living your dream and taking charge of your destiny, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. If you know why you're doing something, when the hard times come and they're going to come, your reasons will be your rod and staff to comfort you to pick you up. Life knocks you down. Try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get you back up. Don't stop running towards your dreams.